following is a special presentation of Breakthrough with Pastor Rod Parsley. Jubilee Highlights. where the devil, all I hear out of the devil is, can I please get out of here? That's all I'm going to hear from him. That's all I'm hearing from the devil. I ain't putting up with his lousy lip. Not one more day. This is my jubilee. I declare it. This is my jubilee. I'm free from the oppressions of my adversaries. Every year, Seventh year shall be for you a Sabbath. A Sabbath year. But on the seventh Sabbath, seven times seven, 49. The end of the 49th year, you shall take the ram's horn and you shall blow a trumpet in Zion and it shall be unto you a year of jubilee cause I got you ain't gonna believe this look at this look at this right here in the Bible you'll hold on to me for dear life says Yahweh I'll get you out of any trouble the afflictions of the righteous are many but the Lord delivereth him out of them all shall I be delivered Don't turn around yet. Come on, he's bigger than we preach. He's bigger than we've shouted. He's greater than we've told everybody. The half has not yet been told of the greatness of our God. If you'll get to know me and have faith in me, call me and I'll answer you. I'll be at your side in the middle of your bath time. I'll rescue you. I'll give you a long life. I'll give you a long drink of salvation. And then I'll throw you a party. Shout, it's a party. It's a party. 341 days to go. The party is just getting started. It's Jubilee. We're free. We're free. We're free from the oppressor's yoke.
What's going on? Of a Baptist church. A Baptist he says church. he wants the Holy Ghost. He's ready to have a new congregation. Whoa! He's ready to see the Holy Ghost move.
Watch a Baptist man take a Holy Ghost shake. You gotta hear this Sit down. All right, boss. a Baptist man just came and asked for the Holy Ghost to fill his whole church. All right, brother. Are you ready? He's drunk as a badger. Go ahead. Let that Holy Ghost language come up out of you. Go ahead. saving this money for so long. It's, eight, it's only $800. Don't say it's only $800. Say this is the biggest $800 of my life. It took me three months. Say this is the biggest $800 of my life. This is the biggest $800. Of my life. Of my life. Well, we sewed from our ministry $1,000 that night. And this is our personal. And I've been saving it for three months because being a pastor's wife, you have to kidnap them and get them away. So today, today I went down and booked a trip for the Bahamas for three nights. And the Lord said, no, take that money and sow it into God's kingdom. <laughs> Give her a Bahama vacation right now, Lord. Just give, oh, just refresh her. Just refresh her and fill her up with the Holy Ghost. This man wants, that couple gave their money for the Bahama vacation. He wants to give them their vacation. Here she comes. Here she goes. There she goes. Run, lady, run. Run, lady, run. Run, lady, run. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. God said we were living in no dry season. That before you could get it out of your hand, he was already setting in motion what to bring it back to you. Everybody just throw it in and pull it out. Come on. Throw it in and pull it out. Shout it. No dry season. No more crumbs. I'm going to reap where I did not sow. You just started your ministry? started our church in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. The Lord spoke to me and said, 
You cannot expect pastors from the United States to raise the standard in your country. I've called you to raise the standard in your country. I want you to get on your feet. I've been feeling it all night. I want you to pray for Canada right now. I want you to pray that God will send a revival to Canada. Tell him, send a revival. Send a revival. Send a revival. Send a revival. Raise up Canadian pastors. We're not going to have to do it from America. Raise up Canadian pastors full of the Holy Ghost. Give us Canadian evangelists full of the Holy Ghost. Raise the standard in the nation of Canada. Canada. Said Canada shall be saved. Canada shall be saved. Canada shall be saved. Now praise God because you know it's true. I know this is the day. This is the day. This is the hour. Flood us with, flood us with your holy ghost power. Shout it now. There's no time to wait. Here it comes. We need revival. Fresh fire. Come on. Holy Ghost. Come on, we're not playing. I want fresh, fresh fire. I want a new anointing. Oh, God, fill me up tonight. you reignite a passion for children in your heart let it be like jeremiah fire shut up in your bones a fresh touch of the holy ghost shut fresh fire of the holy ghost and it's a rain down from are you kidding me? to flood my thirsty soul yeah. For so long, I'm ready for a change. Here's my cup, Lord. I'm ready for your fresh fire. Father, I pray for a revival in every one of these youth groups. Oh, God, let a revival of discipleship be loose upon those churches. I rebuke the ex-spirit. I command the ex to change in the name of Jesus. Let a Holy Ghost of naughty come on every one of these workers. Send them forth. Send them a revival. To rain down from hell, it's gonna flood my thirsty soul. I've been living for so long. I'm so ready for your fresh fire. I know that this is the time. Woo! This is my hour. There's a new anointing coming. When we shout revival, God's going to put a fire in your belly. With your fire. Get ready. Here it comes. Time to waste. We need revival. Fresh fire of the Holy Ghost. And it's raining down from hell. My good God to cut my food. Oh, 
totaled their car on the way here our volunteer lay ministers and our ministry staff went to the hospital to meet them at Mount Carmel they got out of the hospital they were in the office trying to get their insurance worked out over the phone saw the service what was going on this woman left the hospital and the doctors x-rayed her and said she has a fractured spine No, it's there, right there. It's there, right there. No, 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 he's working on it. Don't, don't. You don't have to fall down. Man. He's just working on it. You, you feel it? Can you feel it? Okay, let me. Oh, there's the one right there. That's where it was right there. Isn't it? Is that where it was? I just felt the anointing just go th through my hand like lightning when I've got my hand right there. Everybody thank God for a healed back. Are you in pain, honey? Okay. A little bit. Ooh. Every step you took on the way down here. Prayed for me at the hospital. Your wonderful lay ministry prayed for me. Our lay ministry, they met you at the hospital. And I began to feel better. I began to feel better. Every step. And when I came in here, every step that I took down that aisle, I felt strength of the Lord coming into my back. Strengthen her with every step. Strengthen her with every step. She will feel no effect of this injury in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Where's that Baptist man? Come here, Baptist man. And I have to teach you. You'll never forget this night because God's going to use a Baptist to lay hands on you. I have to teach you how to do it. Very gently. Give me both your hands. Very gently. Let the hands of Jesus touch you, Jesus. That's it right there. See that? See that right there? See that? Everybody thank God. For a healed back. I don't know if you know you're right in the middle of Pentecost or not. I don't think you understand that. I think you just think you're in some kind of little old church service. I want to hear you shout. God's going to heal you, Bishop. I have the healing power of God in my hands right now. I can lay my hands on anybody for a long time. God told me to lay my hands on you. Okay, okay, Christine, let go of his hand. Raise your hand, Bishop. Lord God, manifest thyself to thy servant. There's a healing and one for you too. These kids are from, I go to Bible college here. These kids are from my church. You go to Bible college here. These kids are from your church. These kids are from my church and um, they got a vision to come here. For this camp meeting, and I've been, ho I, I set, prepared everything, set it up, 
and I'm staying with them. And our church is, I mean, our city is a gang-filled, crime ridden What's one. The, Decatur, Illinois. Decatur, Illinois. It's, it's one of the highest. It's one of the highest murder per capita in the United States. And these kids are going to change the city for God. Now wait a minute. No, no, wait. Let me get some business done here. You line up right here. Leave, oh, not all the way. Leave room for somebody to walk. One row. Where's some of my exchange kids? Come here. Watch them, watch them, watch them. Every one of you get in front of one of them. That's probably enough. What an army. Don't touch them yet. Don't touch them yet. Just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands out and begin to... I need some more kids. That's enough. Okay. Oh, look at them. They all want to get in there. All right. Are you praying? When I say three, reach out and gently put your hand on their head and let the Holy Ghost give them a fresh impartation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release the anointing in these young people to change a city. In Jesus' name, receive ye the gift of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. But I can tell you today, there's a healing balm in Gilead that frees the sin sick. There's a balm in Gilead that makes the wounded whole. There's a ball. Lord, right now, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted. Heal every broken and wounded heart, Lord. Oh, there's miracles taking place. Lay your hand, just lay your hands on your belly. Say, Lord, heal my wounded heart. Heal my wounded heart. And just feel the hands of the Lord. Just wrap your heart right now. You've been so hurt and so wounded. Some of you men, you've been wounded because you always wanted to please your father and you never felt like you did. And you're wounded. So many abused. In a congregation this size, there are probably two to 3,000 people that suffered at the hands of abuse of a family member. Two to 3,000 of you. And you've covered it all up. You're hard and you're tough. And the only reason you're hard is because you're brokenhearted. Lord, let your healing power come. Let your healing power come. Heal. I'd, I'd have you come down and I'd lay hands on you, but there'd be too many. There'd be two or three thousand of you. But you can be healed right there in your seat. Right there in your seat, right there where you are. Now say this with me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. For He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and to heal the brokenhearted. I'm anointed to heal the brokenhearted. I'm an oh there it is, there it is. Just let it go. Let him heal you. Let him heal you. Come on. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To proclaim liberty. What am I talking about? Heal thyself. Heal thyself. Pray. Pray one for another that you may be healed. Heal thyself. Heal thyself. You are anointed to heal the brokenhearted. All that hardness, all that bitterness, all that envy, all that strife, all that meanness. Loose. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Loose. Shit Allah drop those hands and lift them up to the father say i'm free i've heard the good news 
I've heard the good news. I've heard the good news. I've heard the good news. I'm free. You've been treated wrongly. You've been hurt and wounded. But you can't carry that around. It'll kill you. It'll kill you. Let God heal your broken heartedness. Oh, God is moving. 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 The presence of God is all over me. The presence of God's all over. Oh, God's healing you. You know it, don't you? You know it, don't you? Can you tell me what, what's happening? What's, what's, what's he freeing you from? Can you tell me? Just, just coming up in it. It's coming up out of you. Look. Now, get my microphone because I got to put my hand on his heart. Oh. I don't know how many of you know this man, but he's a brand new man today. After this moment, his entire nature is going to change. There it is. There it is. Come here. Come here. Come here. I've heard your prayer. I've heard. No matter what it looks like, I've answered. I've answered you. For I have set you to stand in the gap, to build up the hedge, to repair the breach, and the anointing of my spirit is upon you, saith God. So receive this day and never let your heart ache again. It's your day. It's your day. It's your day. It's your day. It's your, it's your oh, that's breaking off. Some of it just left right when you stepped out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at the tears stained in her clothing bitter tears bitter tears turn to tears of joy turn 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 heal it Lord heal that heart right now right now right now right now right now right now, right now. say I forgive say it say I forgive say it say it. that's where it's at there's the deliverance right there. that's the deliverance right there. that's the deliverance that's the deliverance, that's the deliverance. That's the deliverance right there. That's right. Many of you need to forgive somebody right now. They've held you in bondage. If you don't forgive them, come here, come here. Young man over there, over there, over there, over there. That young man right there by the lady in the red. Come here, come here, come here. Hurry up. Come here. The Spirit of God. Look, 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 look. God is healing broken hearts. Somebody get those babies. Look up here. 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 Lift up your eyes toward the hills from which cometh your help. These are his grandchildren. The parents are not serving God. And he's broken hearted. Well, of course he is. He blames himself for a lot of it. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. You're going to have nothing but joy about this situation from this day forward. God is healing your broken heart from this moment forward. And all the bondage and all the condemnation and all the guilt are going to leave you this day. And you as the priest of those children will proclaim their liberty and you will declare their freedom. And it shall be as you decree it, says the Lord. finish anything people telling you you're no good you're never gonna make it you always start but you never finish you're never gonna finish Bible college you're never gonna amount to anything that lie will be surgically supernaturally extracted from your life this day 
those words will have no power over you but you will receive this day a spirit of enduring to the end you will know the victory of feeling the tape of the finish line across your from he's from the Bahamas if you won't compromise if you'll have a celebration the people of those islands are waiting to celebrate. They've seen Satan praise. If you'll celebrate me, I'll give you a revival that will shake those islands. Throat, um, the week before we started our fasting, I began to prepare myself for the fasting time. I was hit with strep throat. I've never had it before in my life. Two weeks went by and it kind of went away. Four days later, it came back worse. Wednesday, I was at work. I was so sick I had to lay down. I went from work to here because we have church on Wednesday. I was too sick to be here. And I just happened to walk up to the front row and we were worshiping God. And the pastor said, all you ladies there standing on the front row, follow this lady in the wheelchair and run for her because she can't run. Well, we did. I never thought about having a sore throat, blisters on my throat, blisters on my tongue. I just praised God for that woman who could not walk on her own. 
I went back to, to my seat, and I'm standing there, and all of a sudden, something from my fingertips went around my body all the way up and left, and I was completely healed. White women can dance. Paint her. Paint her. My God, they're painting each other. How dare you to just paint somebody and say, you paint it with the fragrance that attracts the favor of God. To proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord. What is that? The day when salvation and free favors profusely abound. I dare you to say I have free favors. Not one, not favor, I have favors. I have free favors, I profusely abounding. I, I'll take that one, thank you very much. Free. Here's one of my free favors. Are you having fun in the youth service? I'm having a blast. Huh? I'm having a blast. You're having a blast. Are you free? I am free. Have you been free all day? All day. Are you going to be free tomorrow? And the day after that. <laughs> Are you free? Tell them, tell them, tell them. The doctor, the devil's trying to make me bail with depression. And the doctor wanted to put me on this medicine. And I said, no, De depression is under my feet. Jesus freed me from that when he died on the cross. Here, give her some medicine. All right, congregation, here's another Baptist preacher wants the Holy Ghost. You ready? Yeah! Na la 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 di 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 Oh my God, oh my God. Look at, turn around, look at these people. What? From the Lord, I got what I wanted. From the Lord, I'll go back to Washington. Oh yes I will, I'm a Southern Baptist. They don't believe in tongues, but God said it, I want it. Last week, last week, on Monday, hey, that man's free. Do you know him? You do? Jose? Hey, Jose, come here. Come here. Come here. You're free. You're free. You're free, Jose. See, people get set free, they're like, they're like a butterfly that just found wings. They don't, what was he bound by? What? I, I desire the iron of my heart. I, 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 I clouds all over you. Yes. Ah, Give him 
want some glory up in here. So we'll be done Didn't come cheap But I got it for free Hope for glory I can't stop And stop talking about everything That is the best way I can take the world What's going on back here? What's going on? Stop! Wait a minute! Where are you from? Tennessee. What? Tennessee. North Carolina. Indiana. Houston, Texas. Virginia. Leona Salzburg. Chi-Town, Chicago. Illinois, Kansas, Pennsylvania, Indiana. Shout! It's Jubilee! It's a party! Beautiful are the feet of those who carry the gospel of the Prince of Peace. I anoint you this night to carry the good news of Jubilee. There will be a freedom unlike anything that you've ever imagined that will begin to flow in every aspect of your ministry. And I shall give unto thee the area that the soles of your feet shall touch, saith the Lord. I bless you. 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 Rise to your feet, man of God. Do you have a ministry? God just told me he was going to double the healing anointing in your hand. Bruder, nicht mehr. 
Let all feelings of inferiority be put behind you. If you were involved in man's business, then man's opinion might mean something. But as long as you're involved in my business, my credentials are what's important. And I have credentialed you. I have graced you. I have gifted you. And your praise belongs to me, says the Lord. Are you ready? Here's a Southern Baptist preacher. He said, I pastor in Ohio and I've come here today for one reason. I want God to fill me with the Holy Ghost. I want the baptism in the... Oh God, oh God, are you ready? him up shout hallelujah hallelujah now that loud let that holy ghost language come up out of you do it now i thought i heard somebody shouting up in here boys and his wife. He's preached for over 20 years. Here is what he brought into the cocaine and his needles. He said, I'm finished. I refuse. Some of you may remember this guy. You won't recognize him, but you'll remember it. He was a backslidden preacher. A week ago, his family had been praying for him since before the first of the year. They've been fasting and praying and believing. He's a backslidden preacher out there getting drunk three or four days a week. Given up, lost hope. But last week, It's been seven days. Look how God just looked out there and saw it. Look how God cleaned him up. The Weebolts paid his tuition. He's enrolled in World Harvest Bible College. Set. Somebody dance with me. Come here. God's going to paint you. This is not about you. He's going to paint you. You want to be cleansed? You want to be clean? He's going to paint you. Paint her with hyssop. I'm telling you, that sin will never return to her. She'll never be plagued with it again. Never again. She's been painted this night. She's been painted this night. Did you hear me? She only the pure in heart shall see God. She's going to see him like she's never seen him before. She's going to see him like she's never seen him before. Doesn't anybody else want it? Doesn't anybody else want to be painted? Paint me, Lord. Cleanse me. I can't do it. Cleanse me. Cleanse my heart. Get on your feet and lift your hands. Get on your feet and lift your hands before a holy God.
I really believe if we weren't conscious of time tonight, hundreds of you would have already been seeking him at this altar. I believe that with my whole heart. Don't hold anybody back. Don't hold anybody back from this altar. Don't hold anybody back from this altar. Come on, we have the anointing of David. We have the anointing of David. Cleanse me, Lord. Now listen, you don't, all you have to do is say, cleanse me, Lord. That's it. That's it. And let him paint you. And let him paint you. Let him dip that branch of hyssop in the blood and let him paint you. And when he paints you, when that sin tries to get back, it's going to run into the blood. It's going to run headlong into the blood. Make room. Come on, paint me, Lord. I have boasted of your Paint me, Lord. Paint me. Paint me. I felt your warm Paint me, Lord. But it always seems so empty. If when I walk away, paint me, Lord. I haven't changed. I'm still the same. I'm still the same. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then shall I hear from heaven. I shall forgive their sin and I will heal their land. It is the goodness of God that leads us to repentance. Just a little break in the weather system for us to get things right. Purify. Come on, you don't have to beg him. Just ask him, Lord, paint me with the branch of his Dip it in your blood. Paint my heart. Make my heart off limits to sin. Break its dominion. Take me, Lord, I'm yours. You know when Jesus stood up in the synagogue and it was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and he finding the place where it was written began to read the spirit of the Lord is upon me and he gets all the way down to to proclaim liberty to the captives the acceptable year of the Lord the year of Jubilee that he was to proclaim it and then he said this day is a scripture fulfilled in your ears at the same time that would have been read in the synagogue on the Day of Atonement, they would have also read Psalm 51, where David cried out, Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. And Jesus said, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears I'm your jubilee and I've painted you and you're clean and so David said deliver me from blood guiltiness O God my the God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness Shout aloud. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth, and I shall shout your praise. <laughs> 